Well, Rob and Sherry, thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, so talk about the creation of this script, because there's a song called Lords of Salem from a record a couple of years ago. Right, right. But listening back to that tune, it doesn't really sound like it has to do it with the same It doesn't really have anything to do with the movie. Really what it was is about, we've been trying to figure it out, I don't know, six, seven years ago, I vaguely came up with the idea for something called The Lords of Salem. Might have been a, it, At one point it was going to be a comic book, but then I stopped that. And then I made it a song because I just liked the title and I sort of wanted to retain it and make sure nobody stole it from me. <laughs> and then, you know, however many years later, it became this movie. I do that with a lot of stuff. Uh, they'll appear in different forms until they figure out what they're going to be. Hmm. Who is Heidi, Sherry? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to? <laughs> Heidi, um, Heidi's a recovering drug addict, and she works um, as a DJ at a radio station in Salem. And she uh, she receives this like crazy record in this wooden box by, by someone called the Lords. She doesn't know who it is. And she listens to the music. She becomes like transfixed by it. And as the movie progresses, every time she hears the music, you don't know is she is she being sort of like possessed by Salem's, you know, witchy past, or is she just sinking into like madness? And uh, it was we a great journey. Know. We mm -hmm. still don't know, yeah. You must write with her in mind, eh? Knowing she's going to play these parts. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah. So I pretty much write with everybody in mind, almost. You do. Almost all yeah. the parts. Um, very few parts don't have people that I already knew were going to play them. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that, coming from the music background, it's a vinyl record that brings all this back. Well, if I had had a bigger budget, I would have set the movie in the 70s. Oh, yeah? But I didn't have the money to... Uh, making period films gets expensive. Sure. Just a simple shot. Let's walk down the street. Well, we got to replace every single car. Right. So I didn't have the time or the, the money to do that, so I, I made it modern day, but I sort of treat it like... Because radio stations don't play records. They wouldn't even know what to do with a record if they got one. But it kind of <laughs> contributes to the mystery. Like, is she, you know, because it's a real thick, it's not a traditional looking It's a 78. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old fashioned. Yeah. yeah. I think it contributes to the mystery. Like, yeah. is it real? Yeah, is yeah. it a possessed Young record? Young kids won't know what mm -hmm. it is. There's a lot of 30s and 40s monster homages in Lords of Salem. Where do those influences come from? I mean, I, th I, I, don't know, I don't know where anything comes from. It's just, um, these are just the things that I love. I mean, pretty much if there's anything in the movie, it's just something I personally like. And if there's anything any character says, it's usually personally something I actually feel. Every character is me in some fashion. <laughs> this is, it's the perfect world where everybody gets to be me and just do the stuff I like. What's it like being your husband? <laughs> it's a nightmare, obviously. <laughs> Listen to me. It is a nightmare. <laughs> You're wearing a flyer shirt, and I mentioned it earlier. Yes. And so what is what are we going to see with this Flyers movie? I'm still working on it now. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a different movie. I mean, Broad Street Bullies, because it's true. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm just researching because it's really hard to dig out some of the information. So you know, we're, we're I, I know all the hockey facts, but I need the the people facts. So yeah, I'm still researching right now. So mm -hmm. I'm about halfway done with the script. Are you comfortable moving out of the horror genre? I'm assuming it's not going to be a horror film. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, <laughs> straight, it will not be a horror movie, obviously, <laughs> but, be, but it is incredibly violent. No, I'm very comfortable, I mean, because that's what I've been trying to do for a long time. I mean, there's a certain type of movie I like. I mean, I love anything that takes place in the 70s, for one, and I like dark, kind of weird material, and this is perfect. It's kind of, you know, it's really like Boogie Nights meets Rocky. <laughs> well, you like villains, and there's definitely villains in the Broad Street I bullies, love villains that, that are yeah. heroes, where the yeah. most hated team of guys ever become the champions. It's mm -hmm. so perfect. <laughs> Before I let you go, we're going to do something called five questions. Five quick questions, one word answers. We'll start with uh, Kubrick or Hitchcock. Kubrick. Yeah, me too. Lennon or McCartney? <gasps> Lennon. Yeah, me too. Sabbath or Zeppelin? Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Film or music? <sighs> I can't pick one. Okay. Music, if I had to. I would say film, because there's music in films. So. Oh, well, that's okay. why you guys work so well together. A little bit of both. <laughs> and in one word, The Lords of Salem. <laughs> that's one. Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Sure.